It's a big market day today with UK budget release, coupled with unemployment data, a precursor to today's big market mover, the meeting of the Federal Reserve. What can we expect from Janet Yellen's first FOMC meeting as chair? Well, Johnny Bo Jacobson of Nordea Markets is on the line now to share his forecasts. Johnny, let's talk market build-up. What are we seeing? Yeah, I think uh, it's uh, more or less a done deal uh, that the Fed will take another tapering step uh, at tonight's uh, meeting. Uh, I think uh, this uh, this 175,000 increase in uh, non-farm payrolls in, in February more or less uh, sealed the case for continued tapering. In your view, does the media blackout on FOMC officials hinder or help markets? Could the peaks and troughs we see as traders and investors by the rumor sell a fact be avoided? Perfect foresight is uh, something you only find in uh, economic uh, textbooks. As a consequence, I believe that uh, by the rumors of the fact trading rules uh, will uh, stay with us. Um, actually, I believe that the, the media are providing a lot of uh, valuable in information about uh, the intentions of uh, central ba bankers. Central bankers have uh, over the years learned how to, to use uh, media to communicate their, their intentions. And basically, I believe that has uh, contributed to uh, reducing volatility in, in markets, uh, even though we are uh, seeing by the rumors of the fact uh, from uh, time to time. This marks the first FOMC meeting chaired by Janet Yellen. Although no surprises are expected given the testimony previews, what could we anticipate? A shift in forward guidance policy, perhaps? Uh, yes, I think uh, with unemployment uh, very close now to uh, the Fed's 6.5% uh, uh, threshold, uh, the, the Fed will uh, likely uh, replace its uh, threshold forward guidance with a more qualitative uh, approach. Uh, I think that is also, you know, the general perception in markets, and uh, overall I say ex we expect no major mar market moves uh, today, but still. I would say because the risk, uh, the the Fed is uh, probably going to replace its uh, threshold guidance, uh, risks are uh, slightly uh, are tilted towards a slightly hawkish uh, interpretation in markets, uh, in our view, and hence uh, tilted towards uh, higher rates and a slightly stronger dollar. The release of the U.S. economic projection report will quite literally put dots on charts as to how Fed officials see the U.S. economy through to 2016 end. How do you see this impacting the tape? template? I think uh, the, the Fed's uh, economic projections will continue to point uh, towards a gradually stronger economy uh, and hence uh, uh, an economic development uh, underlying expect uh, underpinning the expectations that the Fed will terminate uh, the, uh, the QE later this year. And I think uh, the, the projections will also uh, continue to signal that the, the Fed uh, believes that even by the end of 2016, when the economy is projected to be back in uh, full employment, we will see uh, a very, very lenient monetary policy uh, with a, a real Fed funds rate uh, close to zero. So that's it for Market Build Up. Elaine Stenson will be back tomorrow with all the info and market response to this all-important meeting. From me, though, it's goodbye for now.